Now you know how to get information about uh, IP address, mask, uh, hostname of the Linux computer. For that you could use multiple commands such as hostname, IP address and ifconfig. Now let's use another command like ping, traceroute and nslookup. And actually we have already used before ping command and with ping command you could verify connectivity with remote servers. And you could use either hostname or IP address of the remote server as argument. Let's ping google.com. And you'll see actual response from IP address of the google.com server. And if I enter ping and use same IP address as was used in this response, let me copy it and paste here, I'll get actually same response. And the reason for that, that in networking, first we resolve host name to IP address and then we connect to specific IP address. And that's why here in those responses you see IP address. But now question, how this Linux computer actually received IP address for google.com host name? It has actually performed DNS server lookup. And you could perform DNS lookup manually using NS lookup command. And here enter, for example, again google.com. And you'll see answer from the DNS server. And DNS server for this particular Docker container is here. And here is port that is used for DNS lookups. It is UDP port. And here is actual response from the DNS server. And in this block you see actually IP version 6 IP address for google.com. Here it is. And here you see IP version 4 IP address. Here it is. It is of course public IP address because google.com servers are located in the public domain. Alright, let's now perform one more lookup and let's look up for IP address of the, let's say, instagram.com. And here I see bunch of different IP addresses. Here is a set of IP version 6 IP addresses and I could use actually any of them. And above, before this section, I see again a set of different IP addresses that were resolved for instagram.com hostname. Here is this long set of different IP addresses. And that means that Instagram uses some sort of load balancing and we are actually able to connect to any of those IP addresses if we want to reach Instagram.com server. And if I enter ping Instagram.com, I'll get a response from one of the IP addresses from that list. Let's stop this output and let's actually search for this IP address. Let me copy it. Search. And actually somewhere above, yes, here it is. This IP address was resolved by DNS server and it is located in this list. Alright, that's how computer actually resolves hostname to IP address and that's how you could perform the same action manually using NS lookup command. Next command I want to show you here is trace route. Trace route and here as argument let's use google.com hostname. And here you see bunch of IP addresses and actually bunch of different routers that appear on the way from this computer to google.com server. And there are actually 11 different routers on this way. And for example, here you see private IP address, here is also private IP address, here is one more private IP address and here you see some host names. Next comes one of the public IP addresses. Next. Uh, one more host name and so on. All those IP addresses starting from this one are actually public IP addresses and that means that here starting from this step packets are traveling via public routers with public IP addresses. All right, that's how you could verify connectivity with remote servers using traceroute or ping commands. Let's clear terminal and proceed. There is one more command I want to show you here in this lecture and this command is who is. With this command you could get information about owner of specific domain. For example, let's who is facebook.com. Querying and here is information that was retrieved from public registry databases. And for example, here you see name servers that are used by facebook.com, a.ns.facebook.com and so on. You see registrar that uh, was used for registration of this domain. You see creation date of this record and it means that this uh, host name was created uh, in 1997. 
Also on the next line you see registry expiration date. It is set to 2028. All right, let's perform the same query for another host name who is, and here let's enter linkedin.com, querying, and here is the response for linkedin.com domain. And information here is similar. Here you see set of name servers, domain status, information about owner of this domain, information about registrar, information about creation date and expiration date for this domain. All right, that's all for this lecture where I have demonstrated you how to use such network utility commands as ping, traceroute and as lookup in order to get IP addresses for a specific host name. And you know that in some cases you'll get not just IP version 4 IP addresses in response, but also IP version 6 IP addresses. And also we have verified connectivity with some of the remote servers. Let's now proceed and in the next lecture I'll explain you how to enable SSH on the Linux server and afterwards we will connect to Linux server from other computer remotely. Let's talk about it next. Bye-bye.